Hello and welcome to Olintech channel. Today is the DKNY automatic and um, it has several functions like uh, 24 hour format, uh, day of the week and something in 12 hours um, increments. I don't know what is this dial for. But uh, this watch has multiple problems. It looks nice, but it doesn't work. And uh, the decorative ring over here is separated from the day subdial. And I'm going to fix this, but also I expect some problems inside because it could not be wound something uh, slipping here there is no no winding and sorry for my fingers they are dirty because i worked on dirty clock yesterday cannot get rid of this grease okay so let's open the watch and see what is going on as usual removing the spring bar and there are four screws for case back we need to unscrew nice case back has see-through window to watch the movement in action um, but this moment is not actioning at all something wrong inside something we need to find out very soon in a few seconds after removing this stubborn screw So case back and uh, this is automatic movement and what I can see here is that automatic part is not fixed to the movement there is missing screw actually I found one floating around probably from here and also I can see there is some part this is the click spring so it's uh, went out of the movement also because it's not fixed over here it's slid out and um, balance wheel looks good so I'm going to disassemble this watch and see what's going on and I can remove the rotor first it doesn't take much effort Yeah, I can see there is a PAWL lever, power lever. It 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 doesn't engage with this uh, wheel. This is uh, the winding wheel from winding gear actually from the movement 
from the automatic block which should actually wind the main spring but it's not engaged with the pole so rotor would not work on this part and um, I'm going to remove this this plate of the automatic block And this is the power lever, what I mentioned. It looks good, but a lot of dirt here. And maybe rust. Could be cleaned. So this is the tension spring. Actually holding the uh, sweep second pinion and this is the winding gear and the barrel and the ratchet wheel are floating inside before uh, going before continuing I would like to remove it from the case so I can work on movement itself so I'm taking off these two screws and associate it parts which hold a movement inside the case and I think I can remove this plastic holder So stem goes out easily and moment so this is it there in which is can glue easily but later Okay, all hands are removed. This is longer because subdial is bigger, so easy to remember. And this small, and this is also the same size. I'm turning it to this side.
and I will continue to disassemble the this upper plate which Uh, this screws also was loose I don't know what is this movement model um, I guess this is Chinese movement with no labels, no marks. Okay, and some gears here and gears, pivots, pivots are good on this one at least. This one also good. And escape wheel. Yeah, all pivots are good. And this is the sweep second pinion. Okay. Ratchet wheel. And barrel. I think this is the hack lever and this is the sliding pinion and we can see yoke on this side and this is setting gear doesn't Okay, let's take this bridge out. This to the holder. Pivots are okay, and um, pallet fork is next.
PVs are fine, jewels are fine, everything looks good and this is all for this side and I am going to remove dial uh, two screws Thank you. 